Hello my friends, this is new version of Tree Motion and it has new user interface and it's very easy and nice to uh, work. In this lesson, I want to explain user interface of the software. Okay, from here, the first thing that you see is the library of the software that you can access all of the tools and objects <coughs> that you can drag and drop or use in your project. From here, you can turn on or off the library, statistic uh, information that you can see, FPS, frame per second, uh, GPU and CPU conditions. You can turn it on or off here. And this side, <coughs> you have scene manager, everything in a scene, you can see it here and click on it and it's a properties panel, you can see its properties. If you click to ambience, you can see environment settings like lights, weather, or anything that will explain it more. <clears throat> and here we have more tools like lender, fix, and other things. Let me explain it uh, one by one. Here you can turn on or off your scene manager, properties, or uh, uh, X, Y, and Z position, rotation, and scale of the object that you selected. For example, here <coughs> you can see it. Select it. You can see the properties of uh, uh, object here. You can turn it on or off. And view sets that I explain it later. Um, nice. And you can search anything that you want. Here you can change the panel to the this side or another side, side by side or on top of each other. Here you can see the navigation that I explained it in next lesson. If you click here, you can uh, make your uh, software full screen. From here you can change the light, speed, create a snap uh, screenshot. Uh, change the view from drone to the strain mode, VR, and uh, views of your, uh, change your view, and here you can uh, create clipping, and from here you can uh, show or hide navigation from here. From here you can see all of its settings, and you can change navigation to any software that you want. <clears throat> At the top, we have past racer uh, rendering that unfortunately my graphic card is not very powerful to do it. Sorry for that. Here is a material picker. For example, you can click and see the properties of the, any material or any object in a scene. From here, you can see transform object, the transform tool like tr uh, translate, rotate and scale. Or other tool that I explained it later one by one pivot tool or <coughs> collision tool or other tool. You can close and open it with this symbol. Uh, if you select the material picker or other tool, we have some other tool like replace material and UVs we have there. I'll explain it more. <coughs> we have most important uh, tools uh, here. First, you can import your object uh, here. I will explain it. Geometry, dialect link, animation, landscape, point cloud. Then you can give it the material here. You can give the material to object there. Then you have a populate tools like place, pass, urban. Here, then you can create your image and video of your scene. And after that, the final thing that you can export your image, exit, anything that you want, or you can upload it in cloud. That we explain them one by one. We can turn them on or off from here. Nice. 